If I don't have the right pajamas, my kid goes ape. Every night, my kids act like bedtime is some sort of groundhog day and they've never done it. And they're always like so shocked, like what? And I am Bill Murray just living it over and over and over again. Like we just did this. We just did this just a few hours ago. It's footy pajamas. What don't you remember? And it's like, I have to constantly remind them and they're completely shocked. Like, I, I have to stop playing? What do you mean, because it's dark outside? What is this nighttime you speak of? Bedtime is a nightmare. It starts about 6 p.m. and it goes anywhere to 10, 10.30, 11, just depending on the level my child wants to bring. First challenge, get out of the bathtub. We either have to pull her out or sometimes I just straight up drain the water. If I do get her out of the bathtub, she immediately, as you're putting the towel on, she's cold, she's cold, she's cold. Then we run into the room and it's which pajamas do you want? Do you want frozen pajamas? Do you want mini pajamas? Do you want Peppa pajamas? Do you want flower pajamas? And if I don't have the right pajamas, my kid goes, hey, she's insane. Our nighttime ritual uh, is probably the worst two, two and a half hours of my day. Unfortunately, my daughter thinks we're just some like, storytelling magicians that were just here to entertain her and tell us stories. So my husband decided instead of reading Goodnight Moon and the Velveteen Rabbit, he's just gonna regale her with childhood stories. And they're long and they're not good. And one of them included a time that he went to jail. So my daughter is listening to my husband brag about how he was like arrested for drinking. I don't, I, maybe he assaulted a cop. I don't know, I don't listen to my husband but she's, she's hearing it. We get her in her bed, maybe we read some stories, and then she'll do a sweet like, I love you, mommy, good night. About five seconds later, I need my water! I need a book, I dropped my flashlight! I want daddy, I don't want mommy, I want daddy! We have a three-year-old that I think is trying to murder us in the middle of the night, but I keep foiling her plans. She just stands over my face, no words. How long are you gonna stand there staring at me in the middle of the night like some sort of psycho? You know, and I know I've seen her a couple times with like her Barbie raised up and then I wake up and she's like, <laughs> just here to snuggle. I don't trust her. When my kid wakes up in the middle of the night and comes into our bedroom, I know you're supposed to take her by the hand and just walk her back silently. I've never done that. So she just comes in, then my husband leaves and goes sleeps on the couch. My husband doesn't like to sleep with me because he says my energy is so toxic. So I snuggle with my daughter all night long and she like with her feet in my face and you know, it's fine. It's not gonna go on forever, right? And then she wakes up at 6 a.m. to the sweet call of, I have to go potty! No good morning, no good night. Just a lot of shrill noises coming out of an adorable little mouth. 